That's Isaac Newton, humbled by what he knew he didn't yet know, yet what he figured out transformed us all. When you see someone, because great scientists are marked not by their answers, but by how great their questions are. Because not all questions are made equal. One of them is, I wonder if the stars of the night sky are just like our sun, but just much, much farther away. Here's a question. At what temperature does the number seven melt? That's a completely meaningless question. Even though the nouns and verbs are in the right order and it has a question mark. Imagine how many people have asked those kinds of questions before and spent their whole life trying to answer them. We haven't heard of any of them because they were barking up the wrong tree. Because unlike in the arts, where your creativity can be put to page, and let's take Van Gogh's Starry Night. Van Gogh didn't paint that. No one ever for the rest of the history of the world will ever paint that. If Beethoven didn't write his Ninth Symphony, no one else is ever gonna write it. Whereas in science, it's nature that's the ultimate judge, jury, and executioner of an idea. So Newton was brilliant and he did all that alone before he was 26. Somebody would have come up with the same thing or some combination of people. So, it's, so the, the rules are a little different in, in this regard.